Right, so this is a demo showing you how to use the sunburst component. Now the first thing we need is some data for the component. So what we have here is some information from the summit demo. Um, there's sales by region, so there's North America and you can see the numbers here and other regions. And then we have sales per country, so again those are the total sales and then customer sales. And all of those are related based on the country, you have specific customers, based on the region you have specific countries. And this is what we're going to represent now in a Sunburst component. So let's go and build the new JSF page. And using our data control, we can locate the data control for the region cells. Underneath it, there's the country cells. And one level below it is the customer cells. And this is what we're going to use as a Sunburst. So we do, uh, drag it over drop it as a sunburst and then you can decide what to show in terms of the value so we're going to show um, the total sales and then the label for each one so this would be the name of the region click on the next uh, level and again you want to show the total here and probably show the country name and one more le level down we have the customers so total would be the value and name one would be the name or the label for this field and then you can click OK when you developer you don't actually see anything at this stage and um, you can switch to the source tab and you'll see the component here and what you'll notice is the component actually has below it um, three um, facets uh, under a switcher and those are basically representing each one of the tiers of your data if you actually save the page now and run it, you'll get your basic um, display of a sunburst. So the page come up and you can see our sunburst, so each area has the countries in it, so in Europe you can see those countries and each country has the customers in it, like that. So as you can see, this is a little hard to see. Um, let's go and do some fine-tuning on how we display the information. So we'll switch back into JDeveloper and we'll set some things, first of all, at the Sunburst level itself. Okay. Um, one thing we might want to do is use some of the animations, uh, just to make our presentation a little bit more impressive. Um, more importantly, probably, is um, this thing, which is called Display Level Children. So initially it expands two levels down, and we don't actually need it to expand levels down. So let's set this one to zero, save, reload the page, and at this stage you'll see that we'll get a simplified, just the top region um, representation. Uh, it's easier to see this way. So we might want to reposition it to be more in the middle, a little bigger uh, circle. So to do that, we can, for example, take a panel stretch layout, bring it into our page, and then move our sunburst to be at the center facet. Then for the sunburst itself, we can set the style to be AF stretch width and possibly specify a height, so let's say um, 620 pixels. So save everything, reload the page, and now we have some more space and a little bit clearer representation of the data. So how do I get from here to actually showing the next level down? To do that you need to enable drilling on your components. So if you expand the switcher and you'll find the specific region, each one of them has a node, so Sunburst node. And one of the properties of the node is whether you can do a drill and how is the drill represented. So let's do an insert drill. Okay, you can see that there's also options to do insert and replace or just replace. And you can decide how you want to do each one of those. So let's do the last one, we'll do it as insert and replace. Save. 
Right, so let's go back to our page, reload the page. And now when you hover each one of those, you can actually see the plus sign, which allows you to drill down into the countries in this area. If you drill down once more, you get um, the specific uh, customer in that area. Another thing that the sunburst allows you to do is actually spin it around, okay, like that. Um, just a nice thing to try it out. Alright, so the one thing now is that the, um, the size represents how many cells we have, but another thing that the sunburst can do is represent things through the coloring of the components. So let's add some coloring to represent size of um, items. To do that, what you're going to do is inside the node, you're going to right click and say add an attribute group. Okay? And then inside the attribute group, you can add attributes. So we're going to add attributes called color1 and you're going to give a, an RGB code here, so we'll just use um, something like that for color one, and then after that one, sorry, we'll do another attribute. This one will be called color two. Okay, we'll raise the numbers a little bit, so like that. And then after this one, you can add another attribute, which will be color 3. And again, if you look at the numbering in the text editor, you can see the previous numbers that I had for each one. And basically what I'm doing is I'm changing things to be a little bit darker with each iteration. Then for the attribute group itself, you can set um, some aspects here. So one thing you want to set is the value. The value is going to be the same thing that you're showing in the sunburst node. So copy it and paste it in here. Label, again, can be the same thing. The type, it's going to be color. So we're doing coloration of the information. Um, and we're going to use continuous coloring. The minimum value and maximum value, um, those are the ranges of values that you're showing there. So Based on this, um, the sunburst would know how to change the colors. And you can also have labels, so um, something like that. Okay. Um, do it like this. Okay. So now we have coloring here. We'll do a save. Go back here. Refresh. And now you can see that the more we sell, the brighter we are. Okay, so areas where we sold more are a little brighter than areas that sold less. And by the way, this is just for the top layer. You can now apply it for the next layer if you want to. Uh, it should be quite simple to do. Just add another attribute group like you did here. Okay, and then you can actually just copy paste um, the colors okay. into the attribute group like that. Might want to do a reformat here and set the properties for your um, attribute group. So again, set the value, label, type should be color should be continuous and then the values that you want to represent here. Those can be different. Um, for example, if you know that uh, the sales per uh, country are different than per region. Right? Like that. Go back, refresh. And now when you, for example, expand Europe, you'll see another level of coloring done here. Okay, you can see the difference more clearly here. So let's see one more thing you can do with the um, Sunburst component, and that's adding a legend. So to do that, stand on the Sunburst, and you'll see legend source here. The legend source actually needs to refer to um, your attribute group. So 
uh, in this case the first alphabet group is AG1 I'm gonna copy this over here like that um, and you can provide um, the color label so this is based on sales okay the sunburst actually can show two aspects like two dimension one based on color the other one based on size we're just using one dimension basically to show both so let's do that save and refresh and you'll have your legend over here and your title over here so that's a basic introduction to how to work with your new Sunburst component. Enjoy!